Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing the brakes, front and rear brakes on the Camaro that's been sitting for two years and so far I have all the lug nuts out, everything has been removed, however if I grab the, the wheel and I tug on it, it's not moving, if I hit it, same thing, it's not moving, so on further inspection I look right where the rim touches the rotor and you could see it's all rusted so I'm gonna have to spray that down with some rust penetrant and try to you know try to find a way to separate that Now that I got it all sprayed down, I'm just going to try to kick the top of the tire right here. So, to replace these brakes, you got one pad right here, the outer pad, and then you have the inner pad right here. They're actually held in by this pin and you see this pin up top then there's another pin right here at the bottom to remove those you have one hole right here for the upper pin and there's another hole right here and that's for the bottom pin and once you put a punch and this is the punch that I got you put it in there and you tap on the end and it'll actually push the pin in towards the vehicle and once you get the pin out you get the top one out you get the bottom one out this plate comes off and then you pull the brake pads outward so you don't have to remove the caliper to replace the brakes on this particular car but being that I'm gonna do all that I'm gonna replace the rotors also then I'm just going to remove the entire caliper to get the rotor off and then I could put it back on and, and um, do the brakes. And there are two bolts that hold the um, caliper on. So I'm going to take the caliper off with the entire bracket and the lower bolt is right here and there's the upper one right here and it uses a 18 millimeter socket. Hopefully that shows up. And you could use it with the socket and a breaker bar, but I'm actually going to be using my heavy duty um, impact wrench. Get that on, make sure it's nice and snug. That's the upper one. Now I got it on the lower one. And the bolts are identical. And just like that, the caliper is off. So now I could get my bungee cord to hold it, hook onto it it on the spring let it hang for a little while I work on taking off the rotor pretty much I have it hanging like that and there's no tension on the brake line got it all the way up wrapped around the strut now to take the rotor off there's a, a little bolt here and it uses on this particular car normally it's a Phillips head but on this car it's a T30 and it fits right in and these are not necessarily torque tight actually it's not even needed but you know people still put them on 
but um it's not torque tight so you shouldn't have a hard time taking it off if you do then maybe someone over tighten it or it's just rusted in I have it sprayed down a little bit and I'm just gonna use my pry bar and I'm gonna wedge that between the um, studs just to hold the rotor from moving the other end is touching the floor and I'm just gonna try to crack it loose and uh, luckily for me this one came out easy now if you're having a hard time it's not a hard um, it's not a hard screw or bolt whichever way you want to put it I well I, I would figure this is a screw but it's not a hard screw to take out you just gotta if you strip it for some reason just get a drill and drill it out it's pretty soft so now I have that off now I just gotta use my hammer to try and bang the rotor off sometimes these rotors are super hard to take off I have another video that shows some tips and tricks how to get these off but luckily this time two hits and it shook loose this is just a centering cap for the arm um, for the rim you put it on and when you slide your your wheels on it helps to keep the wheel steady so when you screw it on you know your wheels are nice and um and 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 flush and straight i'll just clean the surface up And if you're wondering about this tool, I have a full review on this tool. It's a pretty neat tool that you use to clean rust off certain surfaces, especially um, like hubs and um, spindles. This is just a wire wheel that you put on a drill and when you purchase these it shows you the max rpm that they go to and always wear eye protection gloves and a mask if necessary brake cleaner
and just like that we're ready to install the new parts now putting on the new rotor you just got to make sure there's a little hole on the rotor that lines up with this bolt hole right here and that's it I'm gonna reuse the screw that held it on first I'll just spray it down with some anti-seize rust remover it's two separate things but it's actually rust remover and that's pretty much it I don't even have to put a tool on it to tighten it it's just to hold the rotor in place now I'll just go ahead and clean the outer surface I've already cleaned the, um, the back part brake cleaner brake cleaner and rotors are normally shipped with a um, like a light coating on it to prevent rust so just want to clean that off now that's on now it's time to put the calipers back on and um, change out the brakes and you could actually replace these while the rotor is off but the line is so short I'm just gonna put it back on and replace it and most people that are gonna be replacing these are actually um they're gonna be doing it with the rotors on anyway I just tighten it up a little bit I didn't torque it down yet but I'm gonna use my punch knock that pin out I'm just gonna press on the bottom of this spring try to pull this out and it's rusted so it's gonna be kind of difficult to come out Okay, there we go. Use a flathead screwdriver. And just push it out. Here I'll just use a screwdriver to pry the brake pad.
and I could have changed the brakes while I had the um, the calipers off but I figure I'll just do it while it's actually mounted to the car and I guess that's after two years we got little creatures running around that made it their home so I got this side out now is to try to get this one out and what I did for this side it was kind of stuck in there so I got the same screwdriver I wedged it like just a little bit in up top and pry it out same thing at the bottom I wedged it a little bit in at the bottom and just pry it out and it came right out so this is a four piston setup you got one two three four so to push the piston in if I push on the top one rest the screwdriver against the edge of the rotor and push in on the top one the bottom one pokes out and if I do the same thing to the bottom, the top one pokes out. I'm not sure how well this is shown on camera, but the method is I get my screwdriver, wedge it against the rotor, the edge. I push the top one in. And when the bottom one sticks out a little, I have an, you could use another screwdriver, but I happen to just have a small pry bar. And I'm just gonna push on the bottom and both upper and lower pistons are in. Now I could just get in there with a, a tiny wire brush, clean up that surface, spray it down with some brake clean, and put the, the new pads in. Now I went ahead and put some brake and caliper grease on the spot that's going to be rubbing against the um, caliper. And this is what I like to use. I've been using that for a few a few years now. I find it works best, especially in um, climates where you get where you have winter. Slides right in. And this one's a little bit tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is since this side is in. Now I gotta use the same method, which is screwdriver, push on that piston, put it pry bar on the bottom one, push that in, and now I got both of them in. Now I get the second one. And this just this should just slide right in there we go now I have both in and I'm assuming these are for grip if when you're pulling it out to hold and pull it out um, I don't see no other purpose that they or any other function that they serve but I could be wrong somebody could leave that in a comment if they you know if this is these are um, designed for something else so now we have that, I'm just going to use a wire brush and clean up the hardware. And remember, do all this while wearing a mask. You really don't want to breathe any of this brake dust in. So now, after cleaning this up, put it back in. use the punch to put it back in there we go
right that's in tension is there now I just got to torque the mountain bolts for the um, caliper bracket and um, I'm not sure the torque specs on these so I'm gonna uh, look that up but you could always look that up and and get the proper torque specs I wouldn't go off the first torque spec that I find I would actually do some research and you know check out a few some people say 38 I've seen up to 140 so you just gotta check out a few um, a few torque specs on this get the right one and torque these down and after that is to put the wheel on and um, do the other brakes and that's it thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe